What's up, pretty gang? It's your favorite nail tech, Peaches, back with another video. Now, today, we are going to talk about acrylic toes, but not just acrylic toes. We are going to talk about one of the most, like, commonly asked questions that I get in regards to acrylic toes, which is, how do I do pinky toes when there's not really a pinky toenail, okay? So, this particular client, you can see she really had, like, literally a sliver, and I went ahead and transformed it into this. So, before I go ahead and show you guys how I go ahead and work on those who are not as blessed in the pinky department, let's make sure you guys are following me on both of my instagrams our subscriber for tonight is larissa o and don't forget to subscribe turn on the notifications because if your notifications is off how will you know when i'm on like it's that simple turn them off okay so right here you can see i am really talking to my client about her pinky toenail um people always have disclaimers like oh my feet look like this just to let you know i don't have a pinky toenail and to be honest with you unless you just have literally no toenail there's not a way that i can't give you an acrylic toe there you see what i'm saying so basically i'm just telling her like girl don't worry this is normal like for those of you who think oh this is not normal babe it is okay so what i went ahead and did already is i prepped usually pinky toes like this have a lot of um like cuticle skin so i'm going ahead and making sure all the skin is out of the way it's all prepped primed with um young nails protein bond and then we're gonna start with the toe okay so first of all i get like a small small little bead and i just stick it right on the nail it's gonna look sloppy all right i'm, I'm being careful because i don't want to like all over the place but you need to make sure it's a bead that's pretty stiff not so stiff that you can't mold it but do you see how stiff it is once i put it on there all i'm doing is literally tucking it into the nail bed area so usually people who have like a lack of a pinky toenail or when it's just a sliver they also have this like toe knuckle that covers up what's really hidden deep back in underneath the toe knuckle okay so that's why you can see i'm tucking it far deep because that is going to make sure that this toenail stays on i feel like a lot of people may uh make the mistake of just not realizing there's actually more toenail back there than you think because when you really look and you really analyze it is actual toenail underneath that knuckle it's just the way that your toenail is formed if you can see this toe versus the other ones it's just not it's just more knuckle area and more skin that you kind of can't do anything about so I'm, I'm making sure that it's tucked deep back there but not so deep that it seems like okay it's kind of getting on the skin or flooding it's a very fine line um I know it's kind of hard to see but as you can see with that one bead it was stiff enough to where i can mold it kind of like clay right so as soon as i put it on it pretty much did exactly what i needed to do so i'm just making sure that it's tucked nicely back there but not so far back that when i go to file and seal the cuticles i can't reach that area so it just takes practice but it's actually a lot easier than you think all right so i'm going ahead with this second bead you can see again the, these beads are more like clay okay so you can see how when i touch it it's molding it's not runny it's not loose but it also doesn't dry too quickly and the reason why i put it on the tip like that and i push it forward is to give a little bit more length because um basically if you don't already know whatever length that you choose it's not going to stay that length so i needed to extend it just a smidge longer so that way by the time i go ahead and file it it will have a matching appearance to the rest okay so people think that like oh you can't do anything like you guys are gonna see she is actually gonna be amazed like she's gonna be moving her foot she looked through the whole process she was very excited she's going to costa rica and she really was very self-conscious about her feet and i was telling her like girl i promise i can hook you up like don't stress don't worry at all so basically yeah that's literally just the secret is to tuck it underneath that part of the knuckle like once you learn that it changes the game okay it absolutely changes the game so this requires extreme knowledge and to have a strong suit in being able to manipulate your um, beads and the ratios of your beads, okay? Uh, because if you do not have a good acrylic, a good, uh, if you don't have a good acrylic control, what's going to happen is it's just going to either be way too runny and you're not going to be able to do anything about it, or it's just going to dry too quickly and it's going to be looking like a lump of chunk, okay? It's going to look like nothing. So when it comes to filing and stuff, you guys are gonna see, right? Don't freak out because the toenail is gonna look like, oh, it's so wiggly, it's so this, it's so that. It's gonna be wiggly because her natural, toenails that are like slivers like that on toenails that look like this, it's hard to explain because I know technically everyone is different, but also there's also like these like traits amongst 
even though it's like different people it's like certain toes or toenails that are like that on everybody have like a certain type of trait okay so i'm making sure like okay is this dry enough can i do something with this and yes it is dry enough so if you didn't know once you you start with the big toe because that's going to take the longest to dry and by the time you get to the pinky the big toe and the second toe should be completely dry so you work on you know every couple of nails and the next one will be dry by the time you get there so you see how i'm bending that nail forward i'm pressing it on my thumb and looking under that knuckle to make sure like okay is it back as far as i need right so even though it appeared to be just a little sliver it's more back there than what you think and you kind of have to tap into that and realize okay how long can i make this nail right so once i seal the cuticle area right and i'm being careful because it's unlikely that you're going to cut them when it's knuckles like this because the skin is so tough but you can you still can so you see how it's kind of wiggly and it looks out of control do not be alarmed it's not going to pop off the only way it's going to pop off is if you do not tuck it back under the knuckle okay and you don't get it far back enough to where it does not it's not clinging to very much all right so if you're putting it on the tip of the toe or the tip of the toenail rather and you're gonna go ahead and file it. There's times where in the past, yeah, it has kind of popped off what I'm filing and I'm thinking, hey girl, your toenail is just too small. And just over time, you kind of realize it's little, it's little tricks to it. So you can see, this is where she kept looking and wanting to see and she was just absolutely freaking amazed that I could even do anything for her. Like I say, it's crazy because people all have the same complaints about their damn feet and their toes. And I'm like, girl, you and everybody else in the damn world. So I'm checking the sturdiness. You can see it does have a wiggle, but it's only because of how her toenail is also attached. So not only is it kind of small, but like I said, toenails like that, they typically have like a lot of skin on them. And when you get through filing the skin, you, you notice certain things like the toenail itself may not be um, attached on the nail bed as far down as the other ones, like as close to the tip. But she was absolutely amazed. She was very happy. Um, so this is me just basically adding a little bit more acrylic to make sure that I have the support that I want. And then also I'm just making sure, oh, hello. Bills. Hi, babe. I'm making sure that everything is tucked how I need it to. I felt like I might have overfiled just a bit. So I wanted to make sure the color was gonna be consistent with the other ones, you see what I'm saying? But you guys, it's literally, it takes practice and it takes time, but you also kind of have to have that eye to realize Huh. If I look a little bit closer than what meets the eye, what can I tap into to give people the best results possible? Because in all actuality, when it comes to feet, it's not the easiest thing, okay? And I understand that's why a lot of people don't do feet and what have you, but this little trick right here, I know you guys probably was thinking that I was gonna say something mind-blowing and out of control, but it's not, literally right just like i say on the hands tuck them cuticles baby once you learn how to tuck them cuticles not only will your retention be off the wall not only will your color payoffs be off the wall your cuticle areas will look way more flush the nails will look way more natural right and then on top of that your grow out is going to be beautiful okay now acrylic toes typically last four to four to six weeks before you um need a fill right so i'm just going ahead because i added more acrylic and um I tucked it into that cuticle area. I'm making sure I just do a quick little go around. And you can see how it was like wiggly. It's not because like, it's not anything that I have done. It's just some people have toenails like that. Some people when their toenails end up growing out, it's like that. It's just nothing that you can really do, but just don't be scared, okay? If you're a little nervous, you can make it a little shorter than this. I have been uh, doing acrylic toes for almost, damn, almost three years. Woo, child, no, almost two years. That's crazy. Um, so I'm completely comfortable with my process. I feel like I've kind of got it down to a science. Uh, for those wondering and interested, how long does a basic set like this take? Um, literally, I, I have acrylic toes at an hour 15. Um, she did get a basic pedicure with it as well. So I believe we, it took maybe like an hour and a half or so or whatever. But um, yeah, it's a lot easier than what you think. If you guys are kind of interested on like these shorter videos, cause I know it's short. Um, let me know. I want to do one that's specifically for big toes. I want to do one that's specifically for toes at an angle, just different aspects of it, because I know some people do have trouble with things like that, but I'm just here to show y'all, baby, if you put your mind to it and you focus and you look beyond what meets the eye and just look a little deeper, it's like you see so, well, 
me personally i see so many feet you start to see the commonalities and that honestly baby your feet ain't different your feet ain't special okay they not they just not so if you really in your feelings because you feel like my feet crooked my feet this my feet that at least you got 10 toes okay because i'm telling you literally literally everybody feet is damn near damn near the same okay you ain't special girl and don't get your feelings hurt if somebody say your feet is ugly they're not ugly babe they're just not done okay even if you got eight toes he just can make them look pretty i sure the hell can so we're gonna go ahead and see, you know finish it off with some cuticle oil and honestly that's all i have for you guys i hope this video and this tip greatly helps somebody let me know in the comments below if you try this out and once again this is the final result of this pinky toe and of course, I got more videos coming for y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. But she's the greatest now, Techie.